Independent Senator Dr. James Armstrong was entrusted with the responsibility of building this new report, the Armstrong Report, as EMA, the Environmental Management Authority, they could no longer be trusted. I doubt any Trinidadian trusts a word that comes out of EMA's mouth now. Dr. Armstrong enlisted the help of the Joint Consultative Council for the Construction Industry, which is referred to for short, JCC. The JCC is headed by their president, Afra Raymond, who in turn chose to enlist the service of local experts as well as international experts' opinions so that they could really properly, deeply build this report. Now, these people have specialized in the fields of transportation, hydrology, drainage, social impact, economic impact, economic analysis, highway engineering, property valuation, and much more. NIDCO would also be involved and some other civil society groups too. The government paid about 842,000 TT dollars, which is about 140,000 US, to fund this report. Money was definitely being used for progress now, right? This report was referred to as not only the Armstrong Report, but also, as we said before, the JCC Report. And we want to make that clear because many times these different names tend to confuse the people. Now it was made public on February 15th, 2013 and is available online for anyone to view now. As you could guess, it surprised no one that the report did indeed find significant shortcomings and these shortcomings would warrant further interrogation. Further interrogation, why? So that they could really determine the best way forward in the situation. Now this might not be complete proof to completely reroute the segment of the highway, but it sure as hell was official and scientific proof that the people were right and construction needed to be stopped until proper plans were made and agreed upon legally with the residents themselves. That's what this report proved. So furthermore, the report stated that a significant concern is whether or not the lawful authority responsible for this huge public expenditure is conforming to due process. In other words, it seems that they are not following the rules in order to make such a large public expenditure. What kind of rules? Something called observance of various oversight statutory requirements for the environmental management. They are saying that there are certain environmental requirements that must be had before any kind of go-ahead is given. They are saying that development of land and due consideration of socio-economic impacts on the people must be looked at carefully before giving permission. That means that there are many impacts on the affected people, especially where money, income, is concerned. They are officially ruining the income of the people involved. Now, I know the people were saying this all along, but modern society has a penchant, I'm sure you'll agree, for only trusting when professionals with degrees say things. You know, this is not completely inane, as it goes without saying that a person studied professionally in a subject is due, in fact, to have a clear insight that means a lot, right? I mean, after all, the insight was built on hard work and serious time invested. That's how they got their degree. But do we lose a lot by placing all of our eggs in that basket? You know, many a time, it is the regular person, educated or not, who is actually in the situation and can see all the angles of the experience, who has something that most of modern society lacks called common 
sense. Who has the answer all along? Now listen, you should take everything with a grain of salt, of course, but remember this, never underestimate someone just because they don't have the paper to prove their proficiency. Maybe they never got the chance to achieve that paper. Exercise intelligence and take everything into mind before making an educated opinion. Never be fooled by all the so-called educated people. The Armstrong Report even went so far as to state that off-site impacts would be had by building that highway segment. What kind of impacts? Well, such as removing such large quantities of aggregate which come from quarries in the northern range. And the cost of having to transport it over such a long distance is just more money being spent.